Hi, I'm Gary Zeller and I am the Product Director at Pluggable, uh, coming to you today from our studio in Redmond, Washington to talk about the new 2021 M1 Pro MacBook Pro. Really powerful platform, excited to talk about some of the new capabilities as well as some of the Pluggable products that you can use to help get the most out of it. So as most who are watching this video are aware, last year Apple uh, introduced the original M1 CPU, an incredibly well-designed chip with, that's been lauded with almost universal praise for its mix of performance and power efficiency. Um, one of the bits of customer feedback that we did receive was a desire to enable more than a single external display on the M1 platform. Uh, and as such, our DisplayLink based products like our DisplayLink docking stations and USB graphics adapters were a great solution to that uh, configuration request. If you haven't already, please do check out our um, triple monitor on the M1 Mac video uh, in the link below. This Past October, Apple held their Unleashed event where they unveiled the newest additions to the M1 uh, lineup, the M1 Pro and M1 Max CPUs. So we've got the return of the SD card slot, a very sought after feature from Creative Professionals, as well as the addition of an HDMI port. One of my personal favorites, the return of MagSafe connector. Excitingly, for the first time on Apple systems, uh, we've got the appearance of three Thunderbolt 4 ports. Each of the USB-C ports on the M1 MacBook Pro is capable of providing that full Thunderbolt 4 feature set, which means the ability to connect dual monitors, uh, up to 96 watts of charging power, and gobs of bandwidth for your high-performance USB uh, peripherals all through a single cable. So in our setup here, I have got the M1 Pro system connected to our flagship TBT3 UDZ docking station, which connects to Thunderbolt 4 systems, Thunderbolt 3 systems, and even USB-C systems that don't have Thunderbolt to offer a wide array of additional connectivity and features. It is one of our most popular docking stations and certainly uh, one of the most popular pairings with the new M1 Pro and M1 Max systems. When connected, you have the ability to attach two additional monitors, HDMI or DisplayPort, or a mix of both. We've got an additional seven USB ports and a mix of USB-A and USB-C, as well as gigabit Ethernet, uh, and a Thunderbolt USB-C cable connection back to the host system. The TBT3 UDZ is a great choice for creative professionals and power users. It is what we use internally here on our creative team, uh, creating lots of content for YouTube, Amazon, our website, and wherever else you see it. We have been contending with IC shortages for the past year, so if you find that the TBT3 UDZ is not in stock currently, please do head over to our website to sign up to be notified once it is available again. So as you can see here, we've got two monitors connected to our TBT3 UDZ and uh, by extension our M1 Pro MacBook Pro system. Both monitors are operating at full native resolution and performance running at the full native performance of the GPU in the system, capable of doing anything from video rendering to uh, playing back protected content on Netflix or Apple TV or your platform of choice. And then once you are done doing what you need to do for the, for the day or want to move location, switch cubicles, switch desks, move to another room in your house, all you need to do is unplug that single cable and off you go. So now that we've taken a look at what's possible with a Thunderbolt docking station connected to the M1 Pro, uh, I thought it'd be cool to take a look at our Thunderbolt 4 hub, the TBT4 hub 3C. So what I am going to do here is disconnect the docking station, that single cable, and going to move a monitor connection from this dock to our Thunderbolt 4 hub right here, the TBT4 Hub 3C. Connect this HDMI monitor to the included USB-C to HDMI adapter. And then plug 
this Thunderbolt hub into our MacBook, where we will have that display output, as well as we will begin charging the laptop based on what this hub is capable of. In this case, it's a 60 watt charging hub. And next I'm going to uh, connect a couple of our popular high performance storage drives. These are Thunderbolt drives that have NVMe SSDs inside. And I'm going to plug in these Thunderbolt SSDs to make a little mobile editing bay with sync cable connectivity to super high bandwidth, high performance, high performance storage. These two drives connected, a single display connected. We are charging everything over Thunderbolt 4, 40 gigabit per second high performance connection between the hub and the M1 MacBook Pro, offering vast flexibility and incredibly high performance, uh, regardless of what type of workload you throw at it. Please check out the description for links to these products on our website, as well as additional additional details on our website about the uh, wide array of products that we have been testing on the new M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBooks. We have uh, USB-C and Thunderbolt products that will meet almost any configuration need for these new powerful systems. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our US-based support team at support at pluggable.com. Or if you have a question you'd like to leave in the comments below, please do that and we'll be happy to help.